Have you guys ever had this issue where you couldn't find the font that you're trying to use? Literally, for some reason, Blender loves using these stupid Windows fonts, and everybody knows we don't want to use any of those, unless we're trying to do some kind of document work. But who wants to do that inside of Blender? Blender can do anything, right? Well, you guys are right, and we can definitely figure this out here together. My name is Legit Lee, and I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial how you can actually set up Blender to do any font that you want. Welcome back guys, this is Legit Lee back again with another tutorial video. So like I mentioned, we Blender users have had issues trying to use custom fonts. Now I've read some forums, Blender kind of knows the situation but they don't have anybody at the very moment to delegate this type of issue. So they're really just focused on trying to get things going because they do know some people have found out about this method that I'm going to show you here. So. Basically, what you did was you went to some website like here that I use, thefonts.com, and you downloaded one of those crazy looking fonts that you just fell in love with instantly, right? And you're like, man, I really would love to put that into the scene that I'm designing for this little cartoon or on a cell phone that I'm designing for a cell phone case or you name it, whatever the case is, you want that font inside of your product or your project so if you're having that issue there is a very easy and simple solution but I'm going to explain here why this is even happening so you guys can kind of get an understanding so you went to the font.com you installed the font and you it comes up as a zip folder say you use 7-zip or Renoir whatever one you use um, and then you can't seem to find it in Blender. Well, Blender may not see it, but Windows sees it for most of their other applications. So say Microsoft Word or Notepad or Note Plus Plus, whatever the case may be, it should be able to see it, right? And it, most of them do, but Blender for some reason doesn't. Even if it's installed in here, you can obviously see it inside of your fonts folder. So, how you even get to here is by going to local C drive, um, or this PC, and then you go to Windows, and you go down to Fonts. So then it comes up, and you guys can see all your fonts, right? That's all good and gravy, but when only Blender sees the pre-installed fonts from Windows. So if you go here, and it goes straight to... Um, whenever you click on it, it goes win straight to Windows fonts and uh, you can't see any of the ones that you installed, right? Well, that's because those installed fonts are actually not fully installed there. Um, they're a linked folder, basically, a linked font, so it will be installed somewhere else. I'm not exactly sure where that folder file is. I'm pretty sure if I looked in preferences or something I could find it, but I wasn't even worried about it at that point. All I know is I couldn't find it, right? So then I was reading through a forum and they they were having a discussion about it and they came up with kind of a solution which I'm showing you guys here today. I didn't see a video on it so I want to explain it and this is using the most latest version of Blender. This is Blender 2.83. Just came out about a week ago or so. Anyway, um, so what I had to do was I went to my fonts folder and then where I install my font or at least when I download my fonts when I unzip them I have a folder in my documents called the fonts so whenever I unzip the downloaded font that I want I place them here so what I did was add another subdirectory or another folder inside of my fo the fonts folder called installed fonts directory so that way I wouldn't forget where they're at so then all you do is, if you want to make it easy on yourself, you go back to, like, have two files open, so Windows fonts and then wherever you want to just install your fonts at, so that way Blender can see them, you just click on them, drag and drop. So literally this one's already in here, so you see right here, and if we go back to Blender and click on the files, or open file, yeah, I went to documents, the font, 
and then installed fonts and then here we have the one I just brought over basically if I click open it changes so this is pretty much how you guys would fix that issue and it works for any font I have this nice one here called blacklist I'm really into graffiti art and like custom basically uh, cursive art so that's something that I really I really like I've been into that type of stuff pretty much all my life um, so you see we got different fonts here that you can change over and this will still work for uh, if you need to convert it into a mesh too so I can show you guys that so right now I just have my name but if I go out of here if I right click set convert to mesh and then let's go to one on my viewing here just go down and if I do tab to get into edit mode double click and then hit E to extrude bring it up now it is a 3d version of the font that I have so you guys can do the same thing if you wanted to and it still works for all the other stuff if you don't do it that way say you go and want to extrude out on the font itself or something you guys can do it differently also you don't have to do it the way I just did this is just a quick representation so if you guys like this video please like share subscribe let me know what you think I'm not trying to make this video super long but I do want to add that if you guys are interested in these type of tutorial videos or if you like to design anything in blender that is being able to be made in real life so 3d printed or on a CNC or a laser engraver or cutter I actually have a Facebook group called Blender Designs and IRL for in real life application. All you have to do is click on my YouTube channel, go to the link there, and then just join the group. I will actually add anybody that designs anything in Blender. It doesn't have to be in real life if they don't want it to be. If you're a video game designer or a stop motion or uh, making like action movies or whatever the case may be, if you're using Blender, you guys can still join. I'm not. Um, there's no preferences. I'm not against anybody that does anything in Blender here. Um, but like I said, guys, hope you guys liked the video. My name is Legit Lee. I will see you guys in the next tutorial coming soon.